My name is Christine. I'm the Education Coordinator here at the Journey Museum and Learning Center. I'm going to show you a fun Toddler Tuesday program just in time for spring. This particular one is about dandelions. Yes, those dandelions that are all over our yard, but yet toddlers seem to love them so much. And I'll admit, I still like to blow on those white dandelions a time or two. So we're going to create two different art projects here today. One to showcase when the dandelion has those white seeds that you love to blow. And then those other, in my opinion, those pesky yellow ones that end up everywhere. But even then, um, I've had many kids give those as presents to me and that's when I love them. And they pick some dandelions for me. So uh, this art project's pretty simple. Uh, what you'll do is just get a piece of paper. I use computer paper a lot because we have abundance of that around. And I just create the actual, I guess you could say, the stem and the leaves for the dandelion. You can draw out the leaves or, and color them. Or if you want to, use construction paper and cut out leaves out of construction paper. Or maybe if you have some scrapbook paper, wouldn't that look nice? And color in the background, I like to color in first. So I added the sun, I colored in the sky, the grass. After all the coloring's done, that's when I put the dandelions on top. Same for both of them. So that's the part I'm really going to show you. So, uh, let's do the white one first. So when you look here, you see some dandelion little seeds with the white fluff on them and one starting to float away. And you can arrange yours any way you want. You can have them on a big piece of paper just floating all the way away. And how you create this is so simple. So the white fluff part are just cotton balls. And really, to do a project, you only need one cotton ball. So you just take a cotton ball and you just pull apart little pieces of it. Whatever size that you want, and that's that white fluffy part. Now, you could use toothpicks for the stem. That would probably be easiest, but to be honest, I didn't have toothpicks around, and that might be you. You might be down to your last toothpick, or trying to save your toothpicks for something else. But, I just so happen to have lots of spaghetti noodles around, and spaghetti noodles will work just fine. If you wanted to, you can use a scissor and cut it to the size that you want. Not me. I just break them. And then, if I want to all do the same length, I just lay them side by side, measured out this way. But, if your toddler's making it and they don't want every piece to be the same size, that's perfectly fine. And all I did when I put them on my paper here is I took some liquid Elmer's glue, and on the paper itself, I drew a line of glue. Then, I laid the spaghetti on top, and the fluff on top. And then I just waited for it to dry. So this one, of course, is already done and it's already dry. So that's the way to make one dandelion artwork. Now to make the yellow one that's over here. So let's switch these around. I love this technique for uh, painting uh, the, the nice fluff on the dandelions here. So I'm just going to use a different piece of paper to kind of show you how to do it. So I happen to have had some acrylic paint around, although tempered paint would probably work just as well, it doesn't stain as much. But I poured some paint onto just a paper plate. I wanted to have a flat uh, surface to put the paint on as opposed to something like a, a cup. Because what we're going to use instead of a paintbrush is a fork. I like plastic forks because it's easy cleanup, but even if you have a fork just lying around the house, we all have those, just use that. So you take the fork and put the tines in the paint and press it on paper. And there you can see just one pass through. The fun part though, is to dip your fork back in the paint and just keep making crisscrosses all over each other, going all different sorts of directions for the dandelions. And what's nice about this is it's very forgiving. If you don't go in an exact pattern, that's the benefit. 
and go over it as many times as you want. And that's how you have your dandelion. So what a fun project and a, a great way to celebrate spring. And um, maybe your toddler can read. There's a book out there. I think it's called like Dandelion Dust or something like that. And it's a great book that might be a fun one to read along with this project. Thank you very much.